until a few hours before this meeting. That is not the way that we are going to operate. I don't know how you guys operated before, but this is a new council. We need your cooperation. You guys are the professionals. We need you to work with us. If we knew that we were dealing with a budget short, well, and then $3 million comes from out of thin air. I mean, that would have been nice to know before uh, mailers were putting out, put out promising budget Armageddon if we didn't pass WPCA. $3 million, that's a lot of money. And if we've been budgeting that, that much and building that up so in such a short time when we are also paying off our pension obligations in the next couple of years, we have that balloon payment that's been going on, I mean, you are really increasing the mill rate perhaps unnecessarily uh, in building these, up, these things up in a short time. $3 million comes, you know, suddenly we have $3 million. It's amazing. But in terms of process, I don't like hearing about things from the Stratford Star. You have my phone number, you have my email, we all asked for information, and we weren't getting it. Well, we weren't and ready I, to, I'm just, we, we you know, that those are just the facts. Okay, and you're, you're entitled to that, and you're on a path that I'm also on a path. And I have a plan on how I want to handle the budget and make proposals. Some people may want to agree with them, others don't. We are on a right path in this town that I believed. Others may disagree, which, again, I'm respectful of. And we're also investigating other items that I think could be beneficial, but they may not be. And un until I get the information, until I'm ready to release it, that's when I'll release it. So you're on a, on a time frame, and I'm on a time frame. Well, and, we'll you're, you're and, and we did do a we did do a hiring freeze. We we did throw out a suggestion immediately, and that was something that we could do uh, without taking a long time to implement. And what I like to do is test things, look at them and not just react all the time, but actually to work on my timeline. And maybe that doesn't always fall in line with your timeline. That's fine, but... but the important thing is we're here today having that discussion. And it's, it's not necessarily about timelines, but how do we handle the situation? And I think that's why we're all here, is, you know, how we can do this together. And I think combined, I think there's a lot of smart people in this council, and I think we can share ideas and come up with suggestions and solutions to help alleviate any stress. Listen, I, I, I was a a proponent of regionalization because it made sense in my mind. I thought it was good for the town of Stratford. The voters took a, co a different course, and I respect the all the voters. I always do. And I respect this town so much that I'll never put it in jeopardy. But the fact that we're improving our funds and on the right path financially, that means a lot to me. And I'll never jeopardize the financial wherewithal of this town ever, not even for, not for political purposes, ever. And you're going to be part of that now, and that's the reality of what we're doing. So I operate a little bit differently than you do, I guess. But I think over time, we're going to hopefully well, what, what, be able to work together. What you had told us verbally was that you were not going to be addressing this budget and you wanted to work on next year's, and uh, I respectfully dis <coughs> we, we, as a council, disagreed with that. We thought it was important to work on this year's. Mr. Dumas has been waiting I, to speak. I have, I have two questions. Um, one is, with a little preface, it's no secret that I voted against this council chair. But I'm curious as to how you think it's respectful to our council chair, who all ten of us support, to not provide her information and for your administration not to provide her information that she requests that's not complex information in a timely manner and to not show up for these workshops that your staff was basically basically hung out to dry during and then to release your budget plan less than seven hours before this meeting. That's question number one. And question number two is at our last meeting uh, there was a proposal for a hiring freeze and it turns out that you issued a hiring freeze the day one of the members of the council had asked the outgoing council chair to put it on the agenda. And then within a week of our council meeting, that hiring freeze was broken uh, for one individual who is a, a particularly controversial political figure in town. Some love him, some hate him. Uh, I'm curious as to what happened to that hiring freeze, because you just mentioned it, because it seems like it's not sticking. No, it's, it's, first of all, we've done hiring freezes in the past. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. And it is at our discretion as far as who we replace and who we don't. A lot of it we're doing through attrition. But again, it's what we deem um, is appropriate for the operations of the town. So if you look at how we uh, structured that hiring freeze, I think you'll better understand it. Um, but in the spirit of trying to mitigate costs in the future, we felt that was an appropriate action. And again, when I release budget information or proposals, it's there for your liking, disliking, and, and discussion. But I, as the mayor of this town, I have a right to release the information to the public and to yourselves 
as, as soon as I feel comfortable in doing that, which I think is going to be a benefit to all. So if you're comfortable in not releasing the information for six months, what are you talking that's about? what you just said, you'd release the information as soon as you're comfortable with it. What, what are you talking about, six months? You just said, I'll release the information as soon as I'm comfortable with it. If you were never comfortable with it, would you never release it? No, in other words, I want to make sure it's accurate and correct before I actually bring it out and bring it forward. You, you couldn't call the council chairperson and kind of float it to her? I, we're here this evening. I mean, it, it's, it was released today. Yes. No, wait, I, 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 I got one more follow-up question. Go ahead, go ahead. On, um, so how exactly does your hiring freeze work? Because it seems like your friends get hired and nobody else does. We had two people that are, what, what, are you referring about the blight officers? Those are the positions that were hired, yes. Yeah, we had two people apply for them. We had them split the position between the two of them. But we felt that was an area that is actually brought up a lot in certain districts that they have issues regarding blight. It's, it's good to have blight officers that are both part-time positions. So in other words, we're entitled to determine what's important, what should be replaced, and if we can hold off on hiring someone to save money in a certain position, that is at our discretion. Uh, Ms. Manis, you said when you're ready to release it and you think it's in a good spot. Here's what I'm going to say to you. Mistakes happen we're, and, and, and you think out loud and sometimes people need to throw ideas back and forth. Throw the ball. I might drop it the first time, but if you keep throwing it to me, eventually I'm going to learn to catch it. And then maybe I'm going to throw it back. And then maybe we can actually talk about it. If you don't throw the ball to Beth, if you don't throw the ball to Mark, if you don't play with it, how, how can we get stronger and play with you? We can't. So when you hold information, when you make all the decisions on your own, and then you decide, OK, here I am, ta-da, what happens is, is then it, it, you're so married to it that it's not up for discussion anymore. Don't be afraid to throw ideas out. Because I'm tell you right now, what I sent, I deleted because I got afraid. Because I said, oh my gosh, the political side, oh God, it'll be out on a flyer. It'll be out on a flyer with my picture on it again. No, well, well, <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, and this yeah, is what I'm do. thinking. Because we're so, all so afraid to step. We're so afraid to step and make a mistake. Guess what? Mistakes are part of life, and you've got to be able to laugh it off. And if we can't do it, then we can't ask our children to do it in schools, right? So if we can't work the process and make it work, then there is no process. So... I'm asking you to take a leap of faith with people you might not like, because I'm taking leaps of faith. I don't, some of these people I just met and, 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 and learning to work with now. And, and you, I don't like you. <laughs> We're dating I don't know with me. No. <laughs> so, so, you know, I'm learning to work with people all across the aisle, and that's important. And I've worked with Mark and Mitzi and Phil on WPCA, and I've known, I, known Wally and hung out with Wally now and Dave and, you know, Joe, and I'm getting to know. But seeing people in my own party, I'm not, you know, I'm getting to know them. I'm Al, and he sits right next to me. We're learning each other, too. you got to learn us. Okay. Give us a chance and, and give the people around you a chance. No, I am, and I think that's one of the reasons why I had you all come in and, and speak to me and, you know, have a discussion trying to just, you know, slow down a little bit get acclimated to what your position actually entails, educate yourself, and we've been trying to get you to the facilities, answer questions, and provide information. Maybe it's not always to your satisfaction, but we're trying to do it, and we'll, we'll try to improve on it. I mean, that, that's the best we can do. Um, you know, we're, we're in a different situation right now. All I can tell you is that it will get better, and I think everyone here ran for the right reason to represent their district and the town to make it better, and we can do it together. So, and I'll continue to bring out ideas. And, and you know, no I have a gotcha. budget coming out. There's no gotcha for me. I'm not going to say, oh, gotcha in that. Like, no. with you, I, you're on the team. You're the, you're the captain of the team. I, we have to learn. I'm afraid that just for the sake of time, we need to just ask questions of the mayor um, now. <coughs> We're not converse, but just the straight questions. Uh, Mr. Kadim, do you have a question for the mayor? Yes. Um, when you come hire and freeze, like, <coughs> we was all speaking about doing that, but we didn't want to hurt say like the police department, fire department, any department that's for EMS, any services, we don't want to hurt them because say a gentleman is retiring and we don't fill the slot, then we have all this overtime we're paying which may change their um, pension from 70000 or 60000 a year to 100000 or more. So when you say hiring freeze, we have to be careful about that because in the long term we lose money for the town. So we definitely have to recognize the importance of filling these key seats because, like I said, you know, um, 
we lose money. And I, I don't think that should be good. And we didn't get a chance to look at your hiring freeze breakdown, what it entails, because if you say hiring freeze and then you have two plight officers, that's not a hiring freeze. That's, you just hired somebody. So that's not a freeze. That's the opposite of hiring freeze. So the clarity, you know, we need, we need to understand what, what's going on. I mean, there's no real communication. This is my overview between the mayor's office and the, and the council, because I haven't had other than the meeting, we all, you invited us down, and one of us came in at a time when we spoke with you, which was very informative, and I enjoyed you doing that, and I thank you for that. But I really, we need, we need cooperation. We need help. You can't, you can't just bring down something just before we start and say, okay, let's do, no, that's not good. We gotta get this right. You know, okay. so I hope that going forward, we can do better with that. Are there any particular questions for the mayor? I, I have three, if nobody else does. Uh, Mark. I have one that I've been waiting a long time to ask. <coughs> Um, how much did we spend fighting the referendum in terms of legal fees? That, Susan, do, would you have a breakdown on that? I can look it up on my computer. Okay. Because I don't want to give you the wrong we, number. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll ask other questions and no, we'll get your answer. Okay. I have a couple of questions. We had asked, for, or I had suggested appointments to the Architectural Review Board. Are you planning on making any appointments to the Architectural Review Board? It's a, re, it's a board that has been dormant for a, a long time, and um, it could be very helpful to the Land Use commi Commissions in making sure that we have some beautiful architecture going in. I'd like to talk to you about that, Madam Chair, uh, uh, just about process also. I know historically the council uh, had wanted resumes and then background information on individuals before appointments. So I'd like to discuss that with you and, and address those appointments next month, if that's okay with you. That's fine. Conservation Commission, same thing? Yes. Uh, and then I was reading, uh, I've been reading the charter and, and other things lately. Um, could you please appoint a town historian and assistant town historian? They are supposed to be appointed. They, these are volunteer positions, um, but I think that we are in need of a town historian and an assistant town historian. So could you please make those appointments next month? Sure, and I, I'd just like to say that I, I'd, I'd welcome any suggestions or recommendations of, uh, of a historian. Then we would hope they would have a long-term memory and not a short-term memory, and they were educated in that field. I mean, we've had good experience with that in the past, and yep. yeah, that would be worthy. Any uh, other questions? Yeah, yeah just, to, uh, just to point on that, John, the, um, I don't know if maybe someone on your staff can contact Carol Lovell. She's president of the Historic Society. She, um, there's a number of citizens here in Stratford who you wouldn't even know they're involved you know, with the history of the town that you might want to consider. Mm -hmm. just, a, just a suggestion. Sure. So let's, if you put out a public call for resumes, especially for that, we'd appreciate it. Okay, are we done here? <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let's go on to the strap. I'm sorry, sorry, oh, I'm Madam sorry. Chair. Mr. Just, re just real quick, I've seen a lot of blue books for the budget, and I'm walking around with this, where I have, it's harder to look through. Is it possible I can get the two books that actually for this year that you can open up and take the time and go through instead of using a clip? Board, can we make that happen? There Councilman, you. Councilman, if that's what you would like, I will have staff work on that immediately and get a binder and a cover for you. Because I see he some people with it, but I don't have one. Sure, we'll, Thank we'll, you uh, we'll uh, provide that I. to you. Do you want one also? As with I, yes, please. Okay, we'll make sure the <laughs> new council gets copies of the old budget and then we'll prepare new ones for you. Okay. Let's, can we move on? Okay, Stratford Army Engine Plant. It's a continuing item. Um, Discussion, not move to discuss? I, as soon as we hear something from Army Corps and the Department of Defense, we'll give you a, a briefing on that, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, oops, sorry. Yes. Would Are we still at the uh, impasse between DEEP and EPA as to what the, okay. Yes. Okay. Mr. Chase? Yeah. Um, Stratford Army and Plant. You need a mic. Um, under, this, under the uh, town code, um, there is a Stratford Army Engine Plant Committee comprised of the entire town council. Um, has that ever met and have they ever taken any action on anything dealing with the, with the Army Engine Plant? I mean, this has been, uh, uh, Councilman Chase, uh, this has been around for a long time. Uh, 
not in recent years. I think that's when the town was actually looking to do the redevelopment, uh -huh. and, and we're away from that right now. A GSA actually selected the developer. Um, it was a very transparent process, and uh, th there was no outside influence trying to influence them. They were, this group, PSR, was vetted to the federal government. Um, we're working with them right now, and we're also work working with our uh, federal legislators, both in the U.S. Senate and, and Congress. So we're all on the same page in the state, mm -hmm. so we're all trying to move forward. Uh, the council will be approving some items for the new developer, uh, particularly in the land use boards, um, but we're, we still have a ways to get there. As soon as the remediation plan's in place, um, we'll be able to come up and, and, and move forward and start really focusing on it. But if that's something this council wants to do is create another subdivision or some, some type of uh, subcommittee, I should say, to, to kind of interact with the council and provide information, I'd be more than happy to talk to you about that. Can, can I just point out that uh, Section 5-74 of the Town Code talks about the SAEP Implementation Organization in the SAEP Redevelopment Authority. Uh, I think that that group should, at, should be meeting at least quarterly and making sure that revitalization of the Stra Stratford Army Engine Plant actually uh, is on a path to success. So it's in the town code, and given that's in the town code, and it says that the town council and our legislators are involved in this, along with others, I think it's incumbent on us to revitalize that group. I, I think we should. So look, we can revitalize the plant. I, I, I think we should look at the code, and uh, you may want to make modifications to it just to make it current. But yes, I agree with you. We could certainly put something together for you. Okay. Anything else on SAEP? Yeah, speak, speaking of the Army Engine Plant. Um, it's been sitting around for a long time, and I pray that if we do put a committee or a group together, that is more action instead of meetings, because you could have had a million meetings by now, and I've been living here almost 18 years now, and I've been seeing the same Army engine plant all of these years with nothing going on. So uh, hopefully it's an action group, not just somebody sitting around talking about it, because everybody there's, talks there's about it. There's actually been a lot of action on that plant, mm -hmm. believe it or not, but when you have the federal, state, and local government involved in a plan, and really it's between the federal and the state right now, um, it's, I think if you ask them, it's probably moving at light speed, but for us, it's taking a very long time. And uh, we, that's why we talk to the Department of Defense weekly. We communicate with them. They get updates. Army Corps, we're just waiting for their determination on the, uh, on the waste and the mudflats. And as soon as we have that, we'll communicate that with you. This could be a very exciting project that I think you're all going to want to be part of. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Vesco. I'd like to be on that committee. But you're, you are on it. You're part of the council. <laughs> Good. And, and, and I'd like you to be on it in other ways, too. <laughs> okay. Anything else on that? Let's move on, please. The modifications to the council rules of procedure. Uh, um, I, was, I was going to make a motion to uh, modify. However, after I thought it over, I realized that one of, the, one of the aspects of the changes was the public hearing that we've been having at special um, council meetings, which tend to be lengthy. But I realize the whole public hearing aspect is more nuanced than I thought. And so what I've decided to do instead is ask for a tabling of the modifications of, to the council rules of procedure at this time. Second it while we can. Okay, all in favor of tabling? Say aye. 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 All ag opposed? I'm opposed. Is anybody else opposed? I, I, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess it's tabled. About the tape. Hmm? That's it. <laughs> For the record, was that in digital? What was the vote on that? I think it was nine to one. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go through or tabled ordinances and resolutions. An ordinance amending Chapter 172. Madam Chairman, yes. bef um, before we move on, on uh, it might be a good idea, um, similar to when we originally adopted the rules, that we actually have some of the before us in writing uh, for any future changes to our rules of procedure. That's fine. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, 7.4.1, an ordinance amending Chapter 172. You're on, sir. Um, 
I think we want to table that. Can you use your mic, please? Uh, um, I think we want to table that until we get uh, more information on it. Is that a motion? Yes, a motion to the table. Second. Okay. All in favor of tabling? Aye. Aye. Okay, all opposed? Okay, now let's look at appointments. Madam Chair, yes. if you can't read my handwriting, let me know. <laughs> One second, let's see. I'm a high school teacher, I'm out. Okay, Stratford Housing Partnership. Madam Chair, if we could briefly take out of order, I believe the finance director has an answer to a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Mayor. Okay. Finance director. Hi. Um, when I look in, into the budget, I see what we spent overall for um, legal fees, but I don't have it broken out by appeal process versus the sale process. Fine. I believe you wanted to know about the appeal process? Yes. That's I'd have to go to the... Um, Gail Nobley, who's like the legal assistant, she codes everything by, by um, project. We'll, 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 we'll take the complete number. The complete is number there? is 420,000. But that's a combination of, a lot of that had to do with, you know, preparing for the sale, which we need the expert, you know, we needed the expertise of our attorney, so. Did that include the lawyer's fees? Excuse me? Did that include the lawyer's fees? That is the lawyer's fees. That is the lawyer's fees? Yeah. And was that paid out of WPCA funds? Uh, it was a combination of WPCA and, and general fund. The town attorney um, had a breakout based on, he had an his own allocation method. I can't and, speak for the town attorney. And did the WPCA authorize the funds for the expense on the litigation? No. Um, no, they didn't. I don't know. I know that you know they had a budgeted line item for contractual services, so that's that's the money that they used. Okay, thank you very much. Mm. Okay, let's start out with the Stratford Housing Partnership. Is Let's start out with the Stratford Housing Partnership. We're looking at the tabled appointments, mm -hmm. section 7.5.1 of the agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there, does anybody want no to nominate yes. for the Stratford Housing Partnership? I got an email. <laughs> Madam Chairman. Madam Chairman. Yes. Since all these are tabled appointments, if you're going to do that before you. Before you ask for nominations on any individual uh, appointment, I think you have to take it off the table first. Okay. Is there a motion to take this off the table? Take it off the table. So moved. Second. Seconded. All in favor of taking this off the table? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. Okay. So that passes 9 to 1. Okay. Nomination for the Stratford Housing Partnership. Joe? I give it to Wally. What? I got to open an electronic copy. Okay. Nominations for Stratford Housing Partnership. Yes, we've caught up. Uh, I will like to nominate um, as our council chairman's uh, representative will be uh, uh, Beth DePonte. Representative of the Planning Commission will be Jim Vigliotti. Representative from the Zoning Commission or Zoning Board of Appeals will be Scott Farrington Posner. Town Planner, a uh, permanent member of the partnership is, as we all know, vacant. Executive Director of the Housing Authority, permanent member will be Kevin Nelson. Director of the Community Development Agency, which will be a permanent member, um, um, Duncan Yetman and um, three members of the local business community and four members at large. The, the, those are vacant right now. Well, vacant, correct. Okay, is there a second to that nomination? All, 
All, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, so, so moved. That passes nine to, uh, 10 to zero. <laughs> the next uh, board is the Board of Assessment Appeals. Board of Assessment Appeals. I'll make a motion to take that off the table. Okay, thank you. All, all in favor of taking this off the table? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, nominations for Board of Assessment Appeals. Okay, Madam Chairman, uh, I'd like to make a motion to nominate the following individuals. Microphone. All right, I'd like to make a motion to nominate the following individuals uh, for the uh, Board of Assessment Appeals. Uh, Mr. Richard Brown and Ms. Ann Baker. Ann Baker as the alternate and, and Richard Brown to fill the expired term of Mr. McAllerney? That's correct, Madam Okay, Chairman. thank you. Okay, is there a second for that nomination? I'll second that nomination. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, next one, thank you. Uh, Commission on Aging, is there a motion to take that off the table? Like a motion to take it off so the table. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor of taking that off the table? Aye. Aye. All opposed? No. Okay. Commission on Aging? Uh, Madam Chairman, I did speak to the um, director of over at Senior Services. Uh, as you're aware, there is no council representation on that commission. Uh, we have a councilman member who is interested on in serving on that commission. In order for that to happen, they're, they're asking that they change their bylaws. It's my understanding that had been done on Friday, but I have not confirmed that. So I'd ask that at this point it be tabled until we get that information. Second that motion. Okay. I just want to. I just want to um, point of information that as as I'm going down, and I think me and you spoke a little bit about it, but we want to make sure that we're all inclusive. You know, so Latinos, African Americans, anyone you know that's minority should also be represented. And if it's a situation where we need to make room, let's make room. Yes, not leave anyone we spoke out. About, that, about yes. that previously online. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the motion is to table this. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, uh, that passes 10 to 0. Arts Commission, is there a motion to take this off the table? So moved. Madam Chairman. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? To take Aye. this off Aye. the table? Aye. All opposed? Okay. For the Arts Commission, do we have nominations for alternates? There are two openings for alternates on the Arts Commission. I'll make a motion to nominate Paul Gianero. Yes. And Teresa Manis Piccolo. Okay. Is there a second for those nominations? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. It's a Korski Memorial no Noise Abatement Committee that's on the table now. Shall we keep that on? And we will be keeping that on the table. I, 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 oh, I just want to say that that will be a very, as the, uh, as the airport, if it becomes, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. As it becomes more active, um, that could become a very important committee. And we are leaving openings on that right now. We will very be good. working on that. The Waterfront and Harbor Management Commission, is there a motion to take that off the table, please? Motion. Madam Chairman. Okay, second. Second. Okay, all in favor of taking it off the table? Aye. Aye. Okay. And is there a nomination there for the alternate position? Madam Chairman, I nominate John Ackley. You nominate Jonathan Ackley. Is there a second for that nomination? I'll second. Okay, all in favor of Jonathan Ackley being an alternate for the Waterfront and Harbor Management Commission? Aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed? None. Is there a movement to take the Stratford Library Association off the table? Yes. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. We have a question from Mr. Floyd. I didn't think that was, there was a regular member open for the Waterfront and Harbor Management Commission. Yes. There isn't. There is? Yes. It said the term unexpired. There was a person listed. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Can we move Mr. Ackley up to the to become a regular member then rather than an alternate? I move to make I'm sorry? I'll move to make Mr. Ackley full okay. member. 
Okay, uh, all in favor of moving him to become a regular member of the Waterfront and Harbor Management Commission? Aye. Aye. All opposed? No. Okay, let's take Stratford Library Association. Take that. The alternate is unfilled. We will leave that unfilled for now. Okay. Oh, okay. Can we move to put that back on the table? Second. Thank you. All in favor of putting that back on the table? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you, John. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Stratford Library Association. Madam Chairman, uh, I move to take this off the table. Okay. Second. second. Okay. I'm sorry. Wally Kadeem, second. Yep, Wally Kadeem second. All in favor of taking that off the table? Aye. 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 All opposed? Madam Chairman? Yes. Aye. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's getting late. Yeah. You, oh. uh, is there a nomination for, uh, I'm sorry, for Victoria Florick and Kim, yes. Kim Kadeem, please? Abstain. I make the, move? I would move the uh, placement of Victoria Florick and Mrs. Kadeem on the library board, uh, library association. Okay, and there's a second? Second, Dave. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, Ethics Commission, we need to leave that on the table. Uh, the Ethics Commission has very stringent criteria of how we recruit and uh, our, the town council clerk is, has put out feelers and advertisements as requested, so that process for of recruitment is ongoing. Okay. Now, that takes care of that section. Resolutions regarding modifications to the fiscal year 16 budget. Okay. Let's just take, do, do people need a five minute break? Yeah. Okay. Look, look, movement to take a break. Move to take a, a, a five-minute break for the budget. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 No. Aye. <laughs> no? Well. <laughs> yeah. Ms. Manis, you ready? <laughs> you got it? No. <laughs> the register has paid this. Do you have that? We're at 8.1 resolutions regarding modifications to the fiscal year budget. No, this has not been tabled. That has not been tabled. Yes. Sorry, there's been a request for information to be copied. Point of information, didn't we just table that? No. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. We, we broke. We had a See, recess. We moved to recess. We moved I to recess. We did not table. We're at 8.1, and the town clerk is making copies of a document upon request of some of the council members. Point of information? Mm-hmm. Is the mayor allowed to speak at, regarding this document and give some feedback during this time? Are we allowed to hear his? Uh, this, the, yeah. These are... Uh, yes, the mayor can speak, although uh, he cannot vote right. during okay. discussion, unless it's a 5-5 five -five tie. Okay, do we have all the information? Sure. She's making more copies. They're Thank coming. So. Pass it around. Thank you. This council went through two lengthy uh, budget workshops, what we call budget workshops. We considered 
many things in terms of modifying the budget. We thought it was extremely important to have a budget that is relevant to the town and uh, addresses the town's current realities. In that sense, we are uh, encouraged that the mayor has uh, come out with some sort of plan shortly before this meeting. Um, those, that plan really regards the structure of the budget and major transfers. However, there are some things that are perhaps more symbolic that were considered. Uh, sometimes they don't add up to a lot of money, but sometimes if you take a lot of a little, you know, many little cuts, you can get more. Um, this it will be a first uh, first stab at this, and this is not our last stab. Uh, we would like next week to have a special meeting where the mayor is present, where the mayor commits to be present, um, along with the finance director to address his structural proposals also, so we can actually have a budget for the rest of this year that deals with the town's realities. Okay, with that as background, uh, Mr. Young, would you like to make a proposal? Would you like um, to move? Well, here's your mic. <laughs> These were plans that we put together. Um, since you put something on the table, Mr. Harkins, and we wanted to put something on the table, but we also did want to do a couple uh, tangible things. So I move uh, to make an ocean, uh, to make a motion to remove for the removal of all stipends not authorized through the collective bargaining negotiations of town employees. Can you repeat that, Mr. Young? Yep. I move to make a motion to remove all stipends not authorized through the collective bargaining agreement negotiations with town employees. So the movement is to, Mr. Young has moved to remove all stipends that employees are receiving, only those stipends that are not authorized through collective bargaining negotiations. Okay? I second. Okay, there's a second to the motion. Discussion, please. I have a point of information. Yes. What exactly are we voting on here? We're voting on, this doesn't seem, appear to be an ordinance or a resolution. This would be a resolution. A Correct? It'd be a resolution uh, regarding the removal of all stipends not authorized through collective bargaining negotiations. Okay. I had a list. Many stipends within the. Ms. Manis? Many stipends within the budget that you. I had my list. I don't know. That you published online. Oh, I have that. Some are negotiated. Some are not, oh. right? And some are part, partial payments for other positions. So that was one of the questions for the attorney from earlier regarding those, those stipends and those letters of employment and things like that. Can you answer that? Well, first of all, um, I mean, I heard the motion. I don't know what's written on the document. We don't have a copy of the document down here. But... Um, It's halfway down. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what you're, what you're trying to do here. I mean, are you trying to transfer money out of one line item and put it into another line item? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Yes. Those, the, any stipends that, well, not, uh, not necessarily. I mean, I, are <laughs> we they? Are, the there are employees being paid stipends uh, that are augmenting their salaries in a sense. Uh, there, it's, include, it's considered a stipend. Some of those stipends were not authorized through the collective bargaining negotiations. We want that practice stopped. But do those stipends, are they paid pursuant to some type of a letter of engagement or? Or something? That's what I. That, that's my question to you. Are they through a letter of engagement? I don't know. I mean, we don't know what stipends you're talking about. If you had a list of specific ones, we could look at it and then render an opinion. Here's the list of stipends. Mm -hmm. And 
yellow line, real easy. John, I believe since the stipends are removed from uh, specific funds, they would just remain there instead of transferring them right. to a person. Okay. But I, again, uh, I mean, looking at this, we've got stipends for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. And I can't tell you sitting here tonight whether these people have any contractual um, um, right to these stipends, what was in any letter of engagement, how they were given. Uh, so I think that, you know, to try to move this tonight would be, um, would be um, Im imprudent at, at, at best. And, um, Point of information, can I, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you to do, if we choose not to vote on that, can you look into those stipends? Because I believe some of, those, some of those stipends are being paid within CBA without having been negotiated. And to me, that may be a violation. So would you be able to look into those and make sure that they're all legitimate and which ones are which? Is that something that you would be able to do? We can, look, we can try to gather documentation for you to determine how these stipends are paid and from where they're paid. Right, because as I understand it, if a secretarial, for example, let's say a secretarial stipend was being paid, we have a secretary's union with highly qualified people in it that would be able to fill the position. So if it's not offered and it's offered as a stipend, that to me would seem a violation of collective bargaining. I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but I want to make sure we're protecting our town from litigation and we're also protecting the rights of the workers in those unions. One of the benefits we have is that uh, Mr. Hardison, who's uh, been named town attorney, is a um, you know, labor expert. So uh, obviously he'll be able to answer any questions in that field, what's, uh, you know, whatever comes up. I think the ball just got passed, sir. I hope we'll get that answer. Madam Chairman. Uh, I think Mr. Hardin was next. Mm -hmm. I'd like to uh, make a motion. Madam Chairman, there's a motion already on the floor. It's not on the yeah. floor. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, I'm just going to make a motion. I'm sorry. The motion, Mr. Hardin, your motion was? There's a motion on the floor. There is a motion. We're having a discussion. So, I can move the, to uh, table the motion on the floor. That's what Mr. Yeah. Hardin, I think, was planning on oh, doing before we before was, it was interrupted. interrupted. I, w I wanted to make a motion to table. Second. Okay. Third. <laughs> okay, all in favor of tabling? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, is there any other motions regarding this section of the agenda? Yes, I would like to make a motion uh, to have the following positions use uh, the town fleet or cars or get reimbursement for mileage rather than to take home the vehicles. And like we have. Point of information? I'm sorry, do you, do you have more to add? Yes, he did. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Um, and it lists the following vehicles the Director of Economic Development, all building officials. Fire Department Training Captain, Superintendent of Building Maintenance, Environmental Conservation Administrator, Park Superintendent, Operations Coordinator, and Superintendent of the Town Garage. I, and again, I, I'm going to rise to a point of procedure uh, the, to direct to the town, count, town Attorney through the Chair. Is it permissible to do this through a motion versus an ordinance or a resolution? Well, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that Brian about to answer? <laughs> Um, one of the things that happens at these meetings is that um, if we don't have some type of a heads up as to issues that might come up, it's very difficult to sit here and provide answers. Um, there are a number of, um, of um, uh, um, nuances with what you want to do. One, as Mr. Dumas correctly points out, is that this may be the subject of an ordinance as opposed to a resolution because it comes out of the budget. The budget's a, an ordinance. But secondly, you have a charter which um, gives certain powers to the mayor, certain powers to the council, and a, a, a threshold question is, do these decisions fall within the duties of the mayor to administer 
the personnel and the workforce of the town, or do, are they somehow germane to the council jurisdiction? Okay. Those, I think, are questions that have to be dealt with and, and analyzed before I could, or anybody sitting here could uh, recommend that you do it or, or not do it. And, and uh, obviously, we haven't had time to do that here tonight. And I just want to ask, Brian, did you have something else that you wanted to add? No, I have nothing to add. Okay. Ms. A point of information, maybe Sue Collier might need to, the financial director might need to explain this. Um, regarding these cars, I've had a question that has been bothering me uh, for a while that um, Ms. Kaiser mentioned in the, throughout the budget hearings, she met, made mention of the fact that she pays $3 to take her car home and three dollars to drive it back. I'm wondering if there's a shift differential for people, similar to a shift differential where people who live further away pay more. And I'm also wondering with regards to mileage if that's going to impact the lease that we have on these vehicles. So for example, they're paying a hundred, if you say it's three dollars back and forth for a week, that's hundred and twenty dollars a month. These people are paying towards the lease of the vehicles. Is now the town going to be financially responsible? That's hundred and twenty dollars per vehicle per month Per, per person who was taking a car that no longer will have that. Um, Madam Chairman, point of point procedure, I believe there's a motion on the floor. I rise to a point of uh, procedure through the to direct to the town attorney mm -hmm. that although I certainly appreciate uh, the 10th district council person's uh, questions that that should be directed to debate and we have a motion that still hasn't been seconded. Mm -hmm. That Thank is what you. is actually on the floor. Is there a second for that motion? Is there a second for the motion? I'll second. Okay, Just second. There's a second for the motion. Then discussion. Thank you for clarification there. We can discuss it. Okay. So that question yep. still stands, <laughs> Mr. Dumas. Um, and I'm, 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 I'm curious. I want an answer to that question. So I don't want to be on the hook $120 or maybe even more per month per car. So is that going to happen? No. Okay. Thank you. I just want to clarify that we had asked, uh, as chair of the council, I had asked in November, November 23rd, for the cost of these vehicles mm -hmm. and have to date not received a response almost two months later. Another, another quick question that I have regarding um, some of these positions, and maybe the mayor can answer this because these are your people. Um, with regards to any of these people, are any of these people responding to um, daily weekly emergencies at the buildings for example building super and building maintenance supervisor are those the people who show up at 3 a.m when the snow happens yeah it, and it, it depends on the position and there's past practices and some people in their agreements um, are able to take a vehicle back it's part of their their uh, labor agreement so you know i i haven't seen any of this um mm -hmm. we talk about transparency there's no transparency here this evening because no one knows about this and it's what after 11 o'clock at night so it's like through the cover of darkness we're throwing this out uh, and, and there's a lot of I don't know let me get back to you we don't even know about the process or procedure I would suggest that uh, given the opportunity to actually vet this mm -hmm. and see what's happening as opposed to just acting on it and having all these questions and um, that's that's my opinion on that and you know I, I don't think this council wants to enable uh, opacity I think they want to enable transparency mm -hmm. well this isn't very transparent and I would suggest you hold off making any alterations until we get our arms around the entire situation and move mm -hmm. forward with an agreement as far as how to, how to work with the budget. Mr. Duma? I, uh, two points. One is that I've, I've personally observed the park superintendent um, in Longbrook Park at ungodly hours uh, dealing with issues in Longbrook Park, and that's one of the items of people that are addressed there. That may be true for other of these officials, which is something we should need to know. Given that there's some more information that we need, mm -hmm. I would move that we table this. Second. Okay, all in favor of tabling? Aye. 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 All opposed? Opposed. I just want to just I'm speak opposed. quickly about um, quickly about these cars. Um, this is new to us. I'm sorry, it? it's tabled now. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying, I, I mean, everybody spoke on their perspective of the car. I'm really curious because this is not new to you, you know, to, to the administration, you guys know the cars exist, it's new to us. So when we saw it in the budget, um, we were curious to know why, why. I mean, you make enough money to buy two cars. So 
if you're taking a car home and we got to fit the bill, that's a problem. Um, for, for the emergency situations like police officers, firemen, and so forth, I don't have nothing to say about that. But I mean, some of this stuff, it, we are going to review it, which is important. But also, when you go over the mileage on a lease, I know that you're responsible for certain um, penalties. So if you're taking a car home, ain't that adding mileage to the car that, that will put you in jeopardy mm -hmm. to possibly have no. to own the car? Just, just question. Okay, so. thank you. Uh, the, the matter is tabled <laughs> for now. In terms of process, though, can we have a commitment to have a special meeting next Monday mm -hmm. that the mayor it's and... It's Martin Luther King. Oh, it's Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> we will go ahead. Can we do it the following Monday? Hmm? Do it the following I'd like Monday. to make a motion to um, remove the line item 6004 from the town council clerk, the part-time assistant. Um, I know some of that money was being moved to cover the raises, the raise that Carol received. I don't want to impact that, so I want to find out if we can do that, but I do want to uh, know if we can remove that line item completely. Okay, motion to remove removal of line 6004. Where are we putting those funds? We will be putting them in council contingency, right? You are moving from one place to another. Yeah. Yes. I, I think they were being moved, you said, in order to cover the other line item. I don't know. I don't, it was a long budget meeting. I'm waiting for it. For the town council clerk. Is there a second to that motion? To remove line 600, I'm sorry, to move the funding for line 6004, the part-time assistant for the council clerk, to move that to council contingency. Is there a second for that motion? I... I rise to a point of procedure. I have two questions. Yes, go ahead. Um, uh, to the chair and to the extent it needs to go through to council, is there a public notice that is required before transferring funds? Yes, Mr. Dumas. Uh, 6.2.5 of the charter says that uh, this council certainly has the power to transfer um, funds from one purpose to another. But that can only be done after what you intend to do is posted for a week uh, downstairs outside the town clerk's office in order to give the public um, um, notice and an opportunity to comment. Um, and then when it comes back here after that week's period of time, you certainly can consider moving it because the charter provision allows that. Uh, but at that time, it will require seven votes. I think the charter requires seven for that. Okay. Ms. Uh, no, there was a comment here. I think somebody had one. No, I'm sorry. Ms. Oh, Collier? In addition, um, I, I believe that the council can approve interdepartmental budget transfers. Mm -hmm. What you were discussing right there is an intra-departmental intra. budget mm -hmm. transfer. So that is actually the mayor and myself make decisions within a, a given budget. If you separate from that wanted to move the money somewhere else that then you would have to put that in the resolution format and publish it for a week but we're already reviewing within each budget the mayor's you know asking the staff to come up with funds so i wouldn't really necessarily focus on intra-departmental budget transfers because that's the purview of the mayor and the finance director okay can I suggest something? Can we uh, perhaps table the rest of the items, yeah, but commit for the mayor and the finance director to be at a special meeting uh, on, that would happen on January 25th? Point of information, was that motion ever seconded? No. no. Which motion? We can't. No. Mm -mm. Which motion? The motion she made mm -mm. to move the money. Oh, I got the, it was never seconded. It was not so it died. point of procedure no. was raised before it was seconded. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine? Mm hmm So can we commit to having the mayor in a special meeting January 25th to go through both the structural budget, budgetary items? Yes? But he's finding out. <laughs> he's checking his calendar. Wait, we can't approve it for him. It's a Monday. <laughs> Okay. 25th, okay with you? For you, I'll be here. Yay. Uh, I'm just checking with uh, Susan. I think she has a pension meeting that evening. So, Susan, we will work we on the time then. Okay. 
to make sure she's available. Okay. Mr. Mayor, is that a pension meeting that the council members yeah. are a part of? Yeah. We'll all have Do you guys have a pension? Can I ask? Do you have a pension board yet? We will. Uh, it's on the agenda. No, we don't even have a pension. <laughs> We're getting there. Okay. Bit that, by bit. That is Monday, the 25th at 6 p.m. Hopefully before 1 in the morning. We'll so get any there. other <laughs> meeting you set up, please don't make it for that evening at 6 p.m. because I'm busy. But it can be later. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Thank you. Section 8.2, please. Mm -hmm. um, we're a little confused down here. What was just tabled? All of the resolutions, resolutions to modify the fiscal year 16 budget. In lieu, there's a promise to meet at some point on the 25th. Okay, wait. The, the problem I think we're having down here is that, that the um, items were kind of brought up piecemeal, and I know that some had been tabled previously the last thing that we were talking about, I believe the, the, the vehicles, um, I think that a motion was made that there, and then it was never a second because Mr. Dumas had a, asked a point of order. Um, that was 6004, the part-time assistant, yeah, no. which is currently vacant or was vacant. Okay, so part-time assistant. Whatever it was, I don't think it ever got a second. It never got nope. seconded, correct. Wasn't I got the answer I wanted. Right. right. No, the so assistant. if it wasn't seconded, it's not a motion. There's nothing to table. Is what right. I'm trying to. Right. Is what right. I'm trying right. to say. Madam Chairman, may yeah. I move to strike this item from the agenda, and the chair would be at her liberty to add it to a subsequent agenda. Which item are you speaking of? Item 8.1. And the chair would be at her liberty to add it to a subsequent agenda. Second. Second. Okay. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well opposed? That's fine. Uh, okay, Section 8.2. Resolutions regarding performance financial audits of the Office of the Town Attorney and Department of Public Works. Is there a motion to order th an opening of the process to have performance and financial audits of the Office of the Town Attorney and Department of Public Works? I make a motion for, an, for that resolution regarding the performance financial audits, the Office of the Town Attorney and Department of Public Works. Second. Okay. Discussion? Uh, Madam Chairman, uh, how, how much would this cost us? We need to put it out for bid. Would we have the money in our council budget to do this? There is money. The finance director, do we have money for audits? In the council budget I'm referring to now, the council line item. Could you repeat the question, please? Does the council have, does the council have access to funds for audits? I would have to look into it, but we have a big budget, a deficit right now, and the current audit budget is for our financial audit that we do mm -hmm. each year that we just completed last week. So um, I can't, not prepared to answer that question. Section 2.2.15 of the Charter uh, says that we have the Council shall have the power to investigate town affairs, and this comes under investigation. Right. I, Especially when we hear about expenditures of 420000 for attorney's fees well, for WPCA. Well, my only question is, if, uh, whenever any council makes a motion, I always come up and say, can you please identify a funding source? Mm -hmm. Because it's, I, I, if it goes out to bid, they're going to come to me and say, where do, we, where do we get the funds from? So I don't have that answer for you tonight. Mm -hmm. Madam Chairman? Yes. The question is, so um, in the past, I'm assuming the town has done performance audits, their financial audits. Can you just give uh, or tell us a ballpark figure generally what those cost? I don't have a cost of any performance audits. Our financial audit is approximately $100,000 a year. But that's for the whole town. That's the whole town. That's the whole town, not a department. And my department doesn't, you know, is not involved in performance audits usually. We don't have an internal audit department. We, so any 
I'm not exactly sure what it is you guys are looking for. I'm, that's not my area of expertise. So. Thank you. Great. I can say in my business that a performance audit would cost about $20,000 per department. I so, just I have one question. Is there a copy of the resolution uh, putting any details into what you're specifically looking for? We are looking to conduct a performance or, and a financial audit of those I, two departments. As a matter of debate, I was actually going to raise that same point, Your Honor. Um, traditionally, and I actually had reviewed council agendas and minutes going back you know, several years, is that customarily the council has provided any ordinance or resolution in the pony. Uh, in this case, we weren't. It's very difficult for us to determine what exactly it is we're voting on and passing without doing that. Although, while I have some questions about this particular proposal, uh, I would personally think that the most prudent course of action would be to uh, table it and uh, address it when we actually have a resolution that we can look at um, so that we can do something with the words that we're going to pass. Um, and so, I'm going to move to table this. Excuse me, Mr. Florek. Back here. Is <laughs> No discussion on the motion to table. But okay. I, I, All in favor of tabling? Aye. 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 Oh, wait, we need to do a, a vote. Mark? Aye. 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 No. Aye. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Aye. Yes. Yes. Aye. Aye. It passes nine to one to table. Hmm? Okay, new business. Uh, Bunnell Field House. Move. Oh, God. Ms. Manis? No, oh, I'm good. Mr. Kadeem? Bunnell Field House. Well, I mean, it's been discussed um, prior, prior to us being here ourselves. Are you moving to discuss? Yeah, well, I mean, motion to put on motion the floor firstly. Motion to discuss. Second of that motion to discuss? Second. Okay. So now, all just, just oh, still I'm moved. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All, all in favor of discussion? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. No. Okay. So now, we were speaking about Bunnell Fieldhouse, and we're talking about the budget part of it. That, that they want to build it, and then first it was 100 plus, now it's 600, magically appears. This is what we're talking about? I just want to make sure I'm not just just rambling. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's. Now, um, I think that's something that can be um, re renovated. I don't think you need to build a new one. That's just me. But uh, my son played football, Stratford High. We went to that field several times. We went here um, at Penders, and um, and this has a very small place that they serve the people. And, and also, um, I, I don't really see the necessity right now, me personally, as far as the budget's concerned. And, and like I said, it was first approved by the previous council for 100 plus. Now they went to 600. Like I said, I don't know where the money came from. We're supposed to be in a deficit. We're just finding money all the time. That's really incredible. But um, I'm, not, I'm not for that. Ms. Manis? Um, I have a question. Regarding, and I know, I don't know if I can address Mr. Llewellyn, but I think Mr. Llewellyn may have the answer um, with regards to building needs and how this, you know, came about. He answered the question down in public forum. Um, do you have any information about the structural security of the field house, how important it is? Um, that do, Does it just need an aesthetic, like, fixer up, or is this structurally unsound, water pipes? Rust. I've seen some of the building needs stuff happening. It's uh, it's my understanding that with um, the current field house, the conditions of it are um, not acceptable to a couple of town departments. One of which being the health department. Um, so there are some concerns for the kitchen and for the food prep area. Um, and I think there's also some exterior um, sort of structural concerns for the building as well. Um, and then to um, Councilman Kadim's point. Um, it's important to note that the configurations of these services at the two football fields is very, very different. Um, over at Benel, there's a single building that sort of serves the purposes of three structures that are on the Penders field. So while 
the food service area at Pender's may look small in size to what's at Bunnell. The Bunnell structure actually serves more than just one purpose. Um, I believe it's a combined um, locker room, bathroom, and food service in a single structure. Um, at the last building needs committee, um, as was mentioned earlier, um, prior councilman Poisson presented sort of a very, you know, preliminary sketch that um, I believe the Geddes partnership had put together on behalf of the town. Yeah, I, I understand that, but I've physically been there enough times that, that um, to repair, like you said, the kitchen, those things, I can understand that. So you go out and fix what you need to fix. We don't need to make it into a mansion. We don't have to make it into, a, you're gonna spend a night there, live there, just fix what's there, make it nice, and save some money exactly. as opposed to putting it all in there like that. And and that's my understanding. There's um, some additional square footage, if I remember correctly, to go into the, the quote unquote renovated Benel Field House, but it is largely a um, renovation of the existing spaces um, as they're constructed now. And this so, is the 600,000, sorry. This I is have the a question. Uh, and perhaps Ellen can answer it since he was on building needs. <clears throat> is there any specific plan on paper defining what actually has to be done with the costs. Well, maybe you wouldn't have to know the costs right off the bat, but uh, is there a plan? Yes, yes, it, Councilman, it, it, Councilman Poisson had a plan, if I remember correctly, it was a single um, 11 by 17 piece of paper. It was drawn up by, um, by Geddes Partnership, who frequently sort of does um, initial plans for the town in order for us to get pricing on them so that then for budget reasons we know kind of rough order of magnitude what the various um, projects and renovations are gonna cost. Madam Chairman? Yes. Yeah, um, on the 25th, uh, I guess we're gonna be meeting to discuss uh, areas where we can um, resolve the budget deficit, uh, reviewing the mayor's plan, reviews, reviewing uh, your, the list you put together um, this certainly would be an item for that meeting, and I would suggest that we table <laughs> this uh, for that meeting. Okay. I second that motion. Second. Okay. All in favor of tabling? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Madam, Madam Chairman, I move to waive the rules to amend the agenda to take item number 9.2.9, .9, committee appointments, out of order. 9.2.5? 9.2.9 committee <laughs> appointments. I'm moving to 9.2.9 9 committee appointments on page 7 of the agenda. I'm moving to waive the rules to take that item out of order. I will second. Oh, come on. Discussion? Discussion. The, the reason for the motion is that, <coughs> that this is... This is one of the more important items that we have to address this evening. It is the committee assignments. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it is the clock has struck midnight, and my chariot has turned into a pumpkin. Uh, so I want to make sure that, that this particular item uh, gets addressed, given that the council's committees cannot do business until we make these appointments. We have to vote on that. Al Alan seconded it. Yes. More discussion on this? I just want to point out that without these appointments, at first we have all had a long time to go over uh, people, to, to recruit people who would be interested in doing this. Uh, and many of us have, mo have reached out to uh, community groups to suggest people. We made an announcement at the last meeting, so there has been public outreach by elected Madam, officials. Excuse me. Madam Chair, as a point of procedure, you... Uh, if you wish to participate in debate, you have to step down from the chair. <coughs> okay. And, and we also need to vote on the motion that's been made by Mr. Dumas and seconded. I'm sorry? We need to vote on the motion to take 9.29 .9 out of order. Wait, the rules. And, I'm sorry. We need to vote to waive the rules. We need to vote to waive the rules to take it out of order. Ah, vote to waive the rules. Okay. Uh, is there... All in favor of waiving the rules to take this off the table? To, to take no, it out of order. To take it out of order. It's a long night. We 
second. Okay. Aye. 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 All opposed? No. 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 Anybody else opposed? No. I oppose. David? Show? Are you guys opposed? What's the difference between doing it now and 10 minutes or no? Okay, let, let, let me do that again. So all in favor of, t of taking this out of order, say aye, which would mean that we are not making any appointments now, it, which would mean that we don't of, have- point of, point of information, it doesn't mean that we're taking, not making appointments now, it means we're doing this first. Yeah, it brings it up. It brings it up now because this is the most important, in my opinion, the most important business that we have left on the agenda. I would agree with one caveat. I think the, the uh, land use boards are just as important. Yeah. And oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I thought you wanted to take out all of this off the... Okay. Jeez, no, no. Do it now. Okay. All in favor of taking this out of order, say aye. 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 All opposed? No. No. <laughs> oh, Madam Chairman, uh, uh, point of procedure. That was, a, that was the, mo the motion that was before the council was to waive the rules to take it out of order. Okay, I'm sorry. It's, it is late. Can I call for a roll call vote? Because okay. the, the ayes and the nays. Come on, let's go. Okay, roll call vote, vote on that. To take uh, this. <laughs> you can go ahead. <laughs> to take this out of order. Aye. The committees is what he's saying, no? What is this first? Wave the rules. Yeah. Wally. <laughs> well, well, I mean, how long we've been here now? And <laughs> we spending have more time one, arguing about this than it would have two, taken three, to do the four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> yeah. I or nay, Wally? Oh, oh. <laughs> um, well, the, the way it's set up, I, I think we should just yes no. <laughs> go follow it on. And I would say, um, yes, we can take it out of order. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mr. Young? Yes. Aye or nay? Oh, suspend the... Or, or Let's go. He wants to move to 9.2.9. .9. Yeah. Yes. That's fine. No. Yes. Yes. No. Okay. Okay, it passes eight to two. Okay. Okay, so we are looking at the committee appointments first. Okay, the beautification committee. Is there, are there any nominations for the beautification committee? Madam Chairman? Yes. Uh, I would nominate uh, Tina, Councilwoman Tina Manis. Um, wrote, uh, <coughs> as the council representative, uh, Roseanne Neary and Jen Riley. Um, in addition, uh, to increase the current membership by six. Okay. Is there a second for that? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Is there any uh, debate on that? Oh, debate. Uh, it, it's my understanding that uh, some members of the beautification committee, um, they're very hard workers. Mm -hmm. And... You know, literally, they get dirty because they get down in the dirt. Yeah, we're keeping them all. Um, that uh, before we expand this committee, I think it would be appropriate for us to consult with this group and we see have. what they want to do. We have. And I, I, in my understanding is they don't necessarily want to expand the committee. We were told a number of 15. <coughs> I was told a number of 15. They okay. did not want to go to 19. They wanted to go to 15. And I believe that's six, an additional six. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Move to vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Madam Chairman? Yes. Uh, I would move for the Board of Education Liaison Committee the following council members uh, Beth Dumponti, Mark Dumas, Alan Llewellyn, and Tina Manis. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay, all discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Okay. Madam Chairman? Yes. Building Needs Committee, I would nominate the council members uh, Vincent Chase, Beth Del Ponte, Alan Llewellyn, Wally Kadeen. For uh, alternates, I would nominate uh, Paul Hoydick, 
No, that's the electorate. electorate. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. The electorate: um, Paul Hoydick, Linda Manos, John Dempsey, and Ms. Pondy Salik. Michelle Pondy Salik. Okay. Is there a second for that? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? A uh, discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. Okay, we forgot the Booth Park Commission. We're not there yet. I am on the agenda. Okay. <laughs> point, of, point of information. I have, um, for example, Board of Ed members listed on the Board of Ed Liaison Committee and the Building Needs Committee. Are those automatically selected by the Board of Ed? Or do we They are selected by the Board of Ed. Okay. okay. The Booth Park Commission. Uh, the Booth Park Commission, I would nominate the Honorable Vincent Chase <laughs> and the Honorable Tina Manis. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the Honorable Tina Manis seconded. You gotta laugh, right? <laughs> okay, discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? No. Okay. What's the next one? The Community Development Subcommittee of the Economic Development Commission. Table. Move to table. Is there a movement to table that? I move to table. Thank yes. you. Is there a second to that? Wally Kadeen second. second. Okay. All in favor of tabling? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Conservation Commission. Is there a nomination for the Conservation Commission? Uh, like isn't no. that Ms. Manis? I, I, I'd like to, I'd like to nominate Joe Gresco. Thank you very much. Position. Is there a second for that? Second. Okay. Discussion. All in favor of well, Joe well, Gresco for well, Conservation well, Commission. Uh, Madam Chairman, is yes. it, are, are we sure that that's a council appointment? Yes, we are. Are we? Yes, we are. Uh, oh, so you're saying the council, the council members who sit on these commissions are not council appointments? No. Well. That the I have a list of committees and commissions here, and we'll have to go to the uh, to the code or I, the charter. I did. I but uh, <laughs> on this list, it says conservation commission. Who appoints? And it says mayor. But the council member designee per ordinance. So we are nominating. Is that all you're appointing? Yes, that's all that we're doing. Is that's just the okay. council member designee. Okay. Okay. The rest are mayoral appointments. You're correct. Okay. Uh, th so we had a second for Mr. Gresco on that, I think. Did we? I, okay. All I in move to close and call the question. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. The Economic Development Commission. There seems to be debate about who makes these appointments depending on if there's, if we're talking about the Economic Development Commission, which in the Town Code Section 5-21 explicitly says that the council makes those appointments, mm. although Section 1-4B of the Charter says that the mayor makes appointments to the Economic and Community, community Development and, and And quite frankly, Madam Chairman, I think we need to check into that. I'm aware of the code provisions that you cite. The problem with that is that if you look at when that was um, implemented, it was, I think, like 2003 or 2001 or something like that. The charter provision supersedes that because it came later. It was 2008. So I'm not sure. Although the, that, that has a different uh, commission title. I, I don't yeah. know. I well, don't know well, whether well, it's so the same commission or not. So Motion to table. Second. Thank you. Okay, all in favor of tabling? Aye. Okay. Aye. 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 EMS Aye. Funding Committee. Um, Madam Chairman, yes. it's uh, my honor to nominate two dear friends to this committee. I would like to nominate Council Members Mitzi Antezzo and David Harden. Okay. Second. Second. Okay, move to close. All right. Okay, all in favor of Aye. these nominations? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, Finance and Claims Committee. Madam. Finance and Claims, Madam Chairman, I would nominate to this committee Council Members Mitzi Antezzo, Vincent Chase, Beth, Beth Del Ponte, uh, David Hardin, and Tina Manis. Second. Okay, thank you very much. 
Discussion? Move to close. Move to close. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Financial Advisory Committee. I would, is there a move to table that for this meeting? We move will to be table. appointing. Thank Second. you. Second. Okay. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed? Longbrook Park Commission. Madam Chairman, nominate uh, Mark uh, Dumas as the chairman. Um, the opposing party member, Phil <laughs> Young. No. Oh, I'm sorry, Mitzi Antezzo. Okay. And uh, the other position going to uh, Phil Young. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Discussion? I don't know why I'm not honorable and Tina and everybody else is honorable. And they're good, <laughs> they're his good friends, but. <laughs> Beyond that, I move to close. Okay, thank you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? No. Ordinance committee. All council members are automatically on the council committee. As chairman, I appoint Phil Young to chair that committee. I don't think we need anything <coughs> to happen there. Parks and Recreation Committee. Madam Chairwoman, I'd like to nominate Wally Kadeem as chair of that committee. Mm -hmm. With Mitzi and Tezzo. Second. Second. Okay. Uh, and then we have members of the electorate. I'd like to nominate the following members of the electorate John Rich from District 1, Bill O'Brien, Robert Jekyll, Paul Hoydick, Harold Watson, <laughs> and Rick Marcone. Okay. All in favor? I'm sorry, is there a second well, for that? What was the last name? Rick, Rick Marcone. Marcone. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, we need a second for that. Second. We seconded. Mm -hmm. um, can, I'm sorry, can I add, can I amend that? I'd like, sorry. here, amend that. Can you add, <laughs> add a name? <coughs> One more opening. What's your name? Uh, Bill O'Brien? No, a actually, forget it. Okay. Don't, don't do it. Um, okay. Uh, There's still one open space. Yeah, well, let's leave that open for now. Uh, and two alternates. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. Pension board? Uh, Madam Chairman, uh, I would place the nomination the names of Vincent Chase, Alan Wellen, the Right Honorable Mark Dumas, <laughs> Wally Kid. <laughs> Wally Kadeem, David Harden, Tina Manis, and Phil Young. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Move to close. Move to close. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Public safety? Madam Chairman, I would nominate the following individuals to public safety. Council members David Harden, Beth Del Ponte, Joe Gresco, Vincent Chase, members of the electorate Jen Hilgen, uh, Jancy Puse Marcone, sorry about this pronunciation, mm -hmm. Tom Haggerty, and James Wilsey. I'll second. Move to close. Second. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I, I would just like to amend that if I can. Uh, Ms. Uh, can we remove, not place Jancy Puss Marcone's name into nomination for that commission, committee, for now? Uh, I'll amend my motion to remove the name of Jancy Puss Marcone. I second it. Okay. Can we vote seconds. on that amendment? Yes. Okay. All in favor of that amendment? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. All in favor of the main motion? Did Aye. I do that right, Mark, or no? <laughs> it's okay. <late>. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, did we second that? Did, did we vote? Okay. We just voted on that. Okay. Public Works Committee. Public Works, Madam Chairman, I would nominate Beth Del Ponte, Phil Young, Wally Kadeem, Vincent Chase, Mark Dumas, and Alan Wellen. Okay, I'll thank second. You. Okay. Move to close. Second. All in favor Aye. of those nominations? Aye. 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 All opposed? Roosevelt Forest Commission. Madam Chairman, uh, would nominate council liaison persons Alan Llewellyn and Tina Manis. Um, 
recommend to the mayor uh, the following individuals. Um, Actually, wow. let's, I Act think let's stop with those two, you just the nominations. Just them for the council liaison, I'll leave yes. it at that. Second. Second. I, 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 there's a conservation commission representative listed here mm -hmm. for Roosevelt Forest, and I'm wondering since Mr. Gresco has accepted that appointment if he would like to do that position. I think uh, that's, that's, that's up that's to been the mayor. Tailed. Oh, those are all appointed. I think that's okay. up to the mayor. But tell the mayor yes. <laughs> I'm sorry? Tell the mayor I would like to do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what's on the what what we're voting on now is the Roosevelt Forest Commission. The Based on people, Alan Will and Tina Manis. Okay, and then there was a second. There was, and I moved to close. Um, okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Short Beach Commission. I'd like to nominate um, Beth DePonte as the District One representative. And Alan Llewellyn. Okay. Is there a second for that? Second. <laughs> Motion to close. Okay. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Give me your rest. Tax Partnership Screening Committee. <coughs> Madam Chairman, I would nominate uh, Mitzi Antezo Chair, uh, Wally Kadim, and Tina Manis as members of the Tax Partnership Screening Committee. I, I think these are, I'm sorry, I think this is just done by a uh, council chairman appointment. And in that case, I would appoint Miriam Antezo, Tina Manis, and Wally Kadim. Is that correct? Yeah. That's no. correct. Okay. Water Pollution Control Authority. It's the entire town council manager. Okay, Madam, and Madam I appoint Ch as chairman as chairperson, uh, Marianne Intezo to the Water Pollution Control Authority. Okay. Now can we go back to the other things? <laughs> <laughs> Madam Chairman, mm -hmm. uh, before we uh, go back to the um, planning, uh, the land use boards, I just want to make uh, note that um, we need to have some work done concerning uh, the appointments of members on all of these commissions and committees uh, as far as the electorate is concerned and when, th <coughs> when their actual um, terms are up. I've come across a number of people uh, who were listed as their terms had ended uh, when in fact they had been reappointed and I'm specifically, I discussed with you this earlier, the um, Short Beach Commission. Um, I know that the town clerk is involved in, the, uh, the town council clerk is involved in this, the um, HR, uh, HR department is involved. Uh, we need to come together and get something, uh, this whole needs to be, <laughs> this whole area needs to be reviewed. Uh, very quickly before we start making appointments uh, people that you know have already been appointed or vice versa mm -hmm. uh, that just a comment madam, madam chairman okay thank you I think he's asking no he's asking uh, that we need to make sure that when appointments end, that that we actually have accurate very accurate information on each and every person it's a difficult task uh, because there's a lot of people in and in and positions to keep track of, but we just need to make sure we're dealing with current information. Okay, Zoning Commission. Madam Chairman. Yes. Uh, I would like to make the following nomination to the Zoning uh, Office, uh, excuse me, Zoning Commission. Uh, these are alternate members. The following individuals are Ann Baker, Mark Giuliano, and Gavin Forrester. Is there a second? Second. Okay. I move to close. Okay. Discussion. Before you, before you, yeah, before you close, um, you, you said the alternate people that you're putting on zoning. Say that the gentleman name. Sure. Ann Baker, Mark Giuliano, and Gavin Forrester. 
Um, name Garen Forrester. Was he the gentleman that was just sitting here? In, um, I think in Gavin Forrester was, a, if you're asking, was a former councilman from, I'm not sure whose district. Seven. The seventh and the third. Seventh and the third. So he, he just sat in just recently for someone. He took the seat just, you know, um, substituted someone else's seat, right? That's correct. He completed the term of Craig Budnick. Yeah, um, I, I don't endorse that name. Can you what he said? I don't want I don't want him as an alternate. I, I don't support him. Well, there's a motion on the floor. Can we move to separate? Yeah, definitely, definitely move to separate. Okay. Then, oh, Madam uh, Chairman. Yes. And can, can I ask a question? Those three alternates are are is one supposed to be for the zoning commission, one for the no, board of zoning? No, all three appeal? are for zoning commission. My my agenda only shows one one space. Alternate number three, your chair. Your my agenda only shows one alternate member for a three-year term on the zoning commission. There are a number of, let me just get our crip sheet here. Uh, John, uh, you're okay. correct. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was one of the there's points. Only, there's I was, only one, one position open. Right. So according to this, but according to something else, there were three. John Dempsey. Um, yeah, wait a minute. Just, just pulled back today. Yes, John Dempsey resigned today. That, so we that have was two. the zoning appeals. That was and Mike Henrick is now on zoning, so he can't be an alternate and on zoning at the same time. Uh, right. Okay, if, if you're going to nominate those parties, I'm, I'm going to have to waive the rules, I think, because, like I said, my agenda only shows one opening, one position. Okay, can I have, does somebody want to waive the rules? Motion to waive the rules. Second. Okay. Motion close. to close. Okay. Aye. Aye. <laughs> did they take Gavin out? We, we are going to vote. Wait, no, no, we're, we're just voting to waive the rules so we can do all three appointments. Okay. Madam Chairman, we so, also have to move to amend the agenda, which I so move, to include those two additional appointments. The second. Two. The two additional appointments to zoning alternate. Okay. Is there a second to that? Second. Move okay. to close. So all in favor of including the two additional appointments for zoning? Aye. No, no. Aye. For zoning alternates? No. <laughs> Well, we moved to waive the rules. My motion was to amend the agenda, which you have to do under FOIA. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that's the motion that's on the floor, is to amend the agenda to include those two additional items. Okay. Yes. And there that's was a, the there was the a second right. to that. Yeah. Correct. Which then, Mr. Okay. Chase, the Honorable Vincent Chase, <laughs> seconded that. And right. And I, <laughs> and I asked uh, whether um, who, uh, people who were in favor of that, who's in favor of amending the rules so we can vote on all three to add the other two set to add the other two positions okay <laughs> i'm sorry it's getting very late do you want me to start from the beginning yeah okay you started the motion so you can withdraw your motion and then we're starting all over for zoning commission we're going to start all over mm -hmm. okay i withdraw my motion i withdraw my motion second 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 i will draw my second to mr second. chase's motion now we're <laughs> we? i'm sorry who's on first i'm sorry okay mr duma uh, madam chairman i move to waive the rules to amend the agenda Okay, is second. there a second to waive those rules? Okay, move to Okay, move to close. All those in favor? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Now, Madam Chairman, I move to amend the agenda to include uh, two additional zoning alternate positions under item 9.2.1. Second. Move to close. All those in okay, favor? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, so moved. Now. Okay, now we are Madam Chairman, I would like to make a motion to place the names of the nomination for the alternate positions open on the Zoning Commission. Those names are Ann Baker, Mark Giuliano, and Gavin Forrester. Once again, uh, uh, is there a, se uh, wait, is no, there a second. second for that? 
I just seconded it. Okay, there is a second. Discussion? Yeah, there's two, two positions, the two people that you named first, but definitely not Mr. Forrest. Definitely not. Are, are, we, are we debating the question? We are debating the question. Okay. Earlier, Madam Chair, you moved to separate. Are we voting on all three together, or are we still separating? Do you move to separate? Well, I, will, will there Someone would need to move to divide the question. So move to divide the question. Okay. We already have second. Okay, there's the second. So let's vote on each one separately. Is, oh, I'm sorry, is there, I'm sorry? Okay, let, uh, can we vote on the motion to separate? All those in favor of the Aye. motion to divide the question? Aye. 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 No. No. Uh, no. Wait, Roll let call, me do Madam that. Chairman. Nine to one. Oh. All those, in, can we do a roll call vote on that? No. Yes. 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 No. 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 Yes. Yes. Five five. Five five. And the mayor's disappeared. So. <laughs> <It's a table>. <laughs> <laughs> so now the zoning commission has no alternates. I move Is to abolish a... the mayor's office while he's not here. <laughs> Pardon me. Everyone. I move to abolish the mayor's office while he's not here. <laughs> Reduce the budget. I second. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. The motion the fails. I. I can't hear. <laughs> okay. The motion to divide fails. The motion to divide failed. So now we can vote. Okay. So now we are going back to voting on all three. All three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dis I'm sorry. We're going back to discussion of all three as a combination. Madam Chairman. Mm -hmm. No. Five, five. no, no five, six. Six, four, six, four, Can we count the votes two, again? Three. You said no. Four. Yes. You're right. No. Six, yes. Four. Yes. Six, four. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Six. Yeah, it was six, four. Yeah. Party line vote. I'm sorry, six, four. It is. Okay, so we won. we won. Yep, we won. I'm sorry, we are dividing that question. So, is there a motion for Ann Baker to fulfill a seat? Uh, to Madam be Chairman, I move Ann Baker as an alternate to the Zoning Commission. Second. Okay. Move to close. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Madam Chairman, I would move Mark Giuliano as, a member, as an alternate member to the Zoning Commission. All in, uh, second? Is there a second for that? I second. second. Discussion? Okay. Move to close. Second the motion to close. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. No more move to close. Okay, all in favor of Mark Giuliano being on Aye. the Zoning Commission Aye. as an alternate? Aye. 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 Okay, all opposed? Okay. Madam Chairman, I would nominate Gavin Forrester as the third alternate to the Zoning Commission. Okay, is there a second? Second. I'd like to move to a roll call vote. Okay. Oh, a discussion? Wait, wait. We haven't had a discussion yet. Okay, discussion. Ms. Antonza? I primaried Gavin Forrester, and he lost. However, I will say this, Gavin has a wealth of information and I think he would be a good person on this particular board. Madam Chairman? Uh, ma Madam Chair, I... Uh, Ms. Manis? I uh, motioned to divide this question, not to, um, <coughs> not to vote against Mr. Forrester, but to vote for him separately so that I can show um, that I think he has. I think he has good intentions, and I think he has a lot to offer. I agree with Mitzi, and I don't want it to. Sh I don't want to sound political in voting that you got to vote all three. So that's how it is. That's why I want to divide, and I want to stand. I want to stand up and do the right thing. Okay. okay. Any other discussion, Mr. Duma? Yes. Um, I've had some major contentions with Mr. Forrester over the past year. Um, primarily regarding the WPCA. But Mr. Forrester has served ably as my councilman when he held this seat, uh, two councilmen before me, and also as a zoning commissioner. Um, although 
you know, we've had some trying times in this town in the past year, and he's someone who has sort of identified as, as making a mistake on the WPCA issue. Uh, I think there's time where we forgive people and bring people back into the fold. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Forrester has a wealth of uh, experience on many boards, including on the Zoning Commission. Uh, given uh, some many new members on that commission, I think it would be invaluable to have him there to bring that experience there, an experience that some bodies like our own are lacking right now, mm -hmm. um, which is why I'll be voting for him. Okay. Any other discussion? Madam Chairman, um, I'd also like to say that I'm going to vote for Gavin. Uh, I've known him for 40 years. Um, he's a straight shooter. He's fair. He's got a wealth of knowledge. He's served, I believe, just on every, uh, just about every board, uh, council board, board of education, et cetera. And uh, I think he'd make a fine addition to the zoning board. As an alternate. As an alternate. Okay. Madam Chairwoman? Yes. Um, I'd just like to add one thing to what I said before. I think we're in a time when people in our neighboring communities have been given a second chance and there's a lot of people who would like that and I think that if I think that we deserve to give people a second chance and let them prove us wrong rather than us to just say you, you made a bad decision you made a mistake and you went against us and we're gonna go against you I, I agree with them so okay can we oh you know I, I don't really see it like you see it like somebody's attacking nobody nobody's attacking anyone I don't feel that way and I don't feel that um, you, you, what, you, what you said about you making a decision, give him a second chance. There's no attack here. It's just that I don't support him mm -hmm. to do to be in that position. Uh, he may have a wealth of knowledge. I don't personally know him, so you guys are going on what you know. But what I've seen, um, I'm voting no. Okay. Call the question. Okay. All in. Actually, let's do this a roll call vote. All in favor of having Gavin Forrester as an alternate member of the Zoning Commission. Uh, Mr. Emma? Uh, no. No. Yes. 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 I could go either way here. Um, I am going to vote no uh, with no disrespect to Mr. Forrester. So the motion passes uh, for, in was that seven to three? Okay. Madam Chairman. Yes. For the Board of Zoning Appeals, I would nominate Mary Young as an alternate member to the commission. I second that. Okay. Dis discussion? All in uh, favor? I, I had a point of discussion very quickly. I just want to put in the record how overqualified Mary Young is for this job. If you haven't seen her resume and how lucky we are that she is stepping up and offering to do this, and offering to serve our town. Okay. All in favor of yeah. Ms. Young? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes 10-0. Planning Commission? Madam Chairman, I would nominate Harold Watson as an alternate member to the Planning Commission. Okay. Second. The discussion? All in favor of Mr. Watson being on an alternate for the Planning Commission? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. No. Uh, Short Beach Commission? Uh, Madam Chairman, we, the next two items, uh, item 9.2.4 and item 9.2.5, we've already done. So, yes. Okay. Um, Okay. I don't know, do we need a, 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 we can just ignore these or do we just need a, a motion yep. to take them off the agenda? Motion to take. We've already done it. Yeah, okay. we've already done it. Okay. Uh, Madam Chairman, Short Beach Commission, I move to table. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Madam Chairman, Disability Review Board, I nominate to the Disability Review Board, Michael Griffin. I'll second. Madam Chairman, that leaves uh, two, uh, I believe, two vacancies. Our current members are sitting there, but uh, I guess we'll need to either reconfirm or find replacement. Yes. I just want to point out that these, uh, this would not take place until January 13th of 2016. And it is the 11th. Actually, it's the 12th today. <laughs>
He's gone. <laughs> Michael Griffin will replace Kurt Aldberg. That's correct. Okay. Is there, there was a second to that? I, I seconded it. Okay. All in I, I do have some debate. I, this is a very, this, many of the boards have different levels of importance. This is a very important board mm -hmm. uh, because of its impact on our pension liability. Uh, honestly, I don't know anything about him. Typically, when um, people are appointed to committees, we often get a resume uh, and can some, learn some more information ab about them. Because I don't have that, I'm not in a position to vote for him. That doesn't mean I'm voting against him. If I vote no, I simply don't have that information. Okay. Um, Mar Mark, I, um name was given to me. The only information I could ascertain was that, <laughs> and no offense to the gentleman here, that he was not an attorney nor a physician. Not being an attorney is a good thing. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, if I might just add, um, as, um, as Mr. Dumas said, it's a very important board. And I believe that the, um, the uh, ordinance that created it, it doesn't require an, uh, a, uh, an attorney or a physician but it requires someone with some type of an expertise in vocational uh, rehabilitation or, um, or the like. Um, so it probably is prudent to, to find out what the background is here. Right now there were two doctors and a lawyer and that's um, the reason for that was because this board makes recommendations to the pension board for um, applications with respect to disability pensions uh, that are uh, brought before the pension board. And very often that requires not a lay person's reading of medical reports, but someone with a knowledge, a doctor, a, vo a, a vocational person who, who, who deals with functional capacity, an attorney who's used to reading those medical reports. And with respect to the fire union, it is the Disability Review Board that makes the decision, the actual decision, with respect to um, the, uh, whether or not to grant a disability pension. So in, in that sense, Mr. Dumas' um, request to have a more um, um, all-encompassing resume or, or background might be in order. Ma Madam Chairman, in light of Attorney Florek's comments, I would move to table. Yes. Madam Chairman, I would second, second. that. All in favor of tabling? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed? No. Madam Chairman, um, I believe Michael Griffin was your suggestion. Uh, he was, look, but given the attorney's light, right. I, I would. Get us his resume if you're going to. Okay. If we will pursue that. Right. Okay. Veteran, Veterans Monument Preservation Committee, Commission yep. for Academy Hill. Is yep. there a motion to table that? Motion to table. Thank you. Second. Second. Okay. Thank you very much. All in favor of tabling? Aye. 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 Motion to Motion adjourn. To no, ma Madam wait, Chairman, wait, 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 Madam Chairman, hold on. Um, Madam Chairman, we have the Historic Commission. Historic District Commission. Uh, like yes. To, Madam like Chairman, to, Tina. I'd like to nominate Ed Goodrich and Tom Yem for the Historic Commission. Finally. I, I have a point of information. What type of seats are these? Wait a are They're they full seats, seats or are they alternate seats? They're regular seats. They're regular seats. Madam Chairman. I'm sorry? I'm sorry, Madam Chairman, but I just also realized. It's not on the agenda, it's so we need to. It's not on the to... agenda. No, it's not. Uh -huh. Shall we delay that until our next meeting then? Yeah. That'll be fine. Okay. Meeting adjourned? I move to adjourn. Second. 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 Thank God. Second. Second. I, I, I want a roll call vote on that. I have a question. What? <laughs>